Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to a very chilly <laughs> Six Flags St. Louis. We're here as stop number one on our little Missouri trip we're about to do. It's like, I'm already back. How quick was that? I know, I know. <laughs> so uh, tomorrow we're gonna be at Silver Dollar City, and then afterwards, Worlds of Fun. So you will have done Silver Dollar City twice in the span of like three months. Well, compared to zero times in 27 years, I'd say that's pretty good. Definitely an that's upgrade. An improvement, yeah. So this is your first time here. Yeah, So what are you yeah. looking forward to? Um, weirdly enough, I'm probably most excited to do the boss because I know how bad it is. It gets mixed reviews. No, it doesn't go it's, bad. Uh, so some I've people like it. I've never heard anyone say they like it personally. It has its fans. So it's like, it's like it's so bad that I like want to know. Like I'm more excited to know about how bad it is than how good anything else is. I, is that weird? No, I get it. Uh, they also have the good Mr. Freeze here because Six Flags Over Texas uh, flipped their train so it launches forwards. This one still launches backwards. This one's still reverse blast. Yeah, the exactly. This one's just blast. Correct. <laughs> uh, they also got a couple of good woodies here, uh, Screaming Eagle, uh, American Thunder, so uh, all good stuff. It's definitely a little chilly though. It says that it's 60 degrees out, but we're also getting like 30 mile per hour wind, so it feels like 40. I don't know. I think you're just getting that Floridian blood. <laughs> no way. It's actually freezing out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, welcome inside. We got our blood red fountain here for Fright Fest, all the skeletons. It looks good. I don't think we're going to do any of the haunted houses though, because it's like, uh, you buy like a card. Yeah, it's to do they're the house upcharges. Here, so. We got Horror Nights at home, it's all right. I'm sure they're fun though. <laughs> you know what would be really cool and innovative and not at all expensive? If we take these two log flumes, combine them, turn them into one log flume, market it as a new attraction, and then change our minds. Right? <laughs> Check this out, I bet this is gonna be really cool at night. Oh my god. What? That is so freaking weird. Oh wow. Starting off with a bang with the boss. So. If you guys know Matt Maz, the only thing this guy hates more than water is this ride. Like he said he didn't even count it as a credit because he hated it so much. So I am beyond excited to see what all of the fuss is about. We all know he's a little dramatic, but I think he might really mean it. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> this attraction is unavailable. This ride does not operate in extreme cold temperatures. Six Flags thinks 60 degrees, according to the weather app, is extreme cold. That was right. <laughs> about everything. Wow. Well, in that case, our first attraction of the day is going to be their newest one, Rookie Racer. They put this ride where the old go-karts is, and this is a much better uh, attraction to be here. It's better than the boss. Well. I just know it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's going to be smoother. They have a lot of land left over from the old go-kart track. They can put like a good flat ride there, you know? Yeah. Oops. I think there's a lot of options right there, actually. Absolutely. It's a decent spot. It is. We're, we're seeing so they have down, speakers up here where it's like commentary, so they're, they're people like really, narrating through really an actual cool. race going on. Yes. It really helps gain that speed right before you take those high speed corners. Uh, this track is one of the fastest laps. Rookie Racer, the park finally has a children's coaster. Yeah, to me it feels more like a family coaster. Like, yeah. Than like a, like, to me kitty coaster is like, it's like 10 feet off the ground. Uh, it's their <laughs> tamest attraction. Yes. It's their tamest roller coaster here. What a perfect little family coaster. Like, yeah. I, I can't say enough good stuff about Vacoma. Like, I just love the stuff they produce. It's smooth, it's well themed, the audio is super fun. I love like, yeah. the banter between the two commentators. It's like, I don't know, it's like great. They play the audio down. loudly, so there's not onboard audio, but it's loud enough that you, well you hear it uh, throughout the plaza because it's not super big. Also something fun, I don't know if you realize this, we've technically already ridden this. They have a clone of it at Energylandia. It's purple. I think it's called Frida. Oh, is that the one that you can see like behind Zodra? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I remember that. Same ride. Next up, we're walking under the giant snowman that is Mr. Freeze. Go, oh, I'm ready. I need that reverse blast back in my leg. Uh, Mr. Freeze, also known as Me Tonight. Line from Mr. Freeze backs up out here. I actually don't remember how long this wait is. Logically, they should have two trains on this. I'm waiting for this regardless. Yeah. Oh, duh. Mr. Freeze. Of course. <laughs> What a 
a great ride though. Like, just awesome pacing, uh, really throws you around. Well, I love the one at Texas. I mean, I liked it better when it went backward. Um, yes. There's something about going through that inverted top hat backward that is more disorienting than pretty much anything I can think of. Like, I'm like, which way is up and down? It's that kind of disorienting. Yeah, well, and I love being pulled up the spike facing backwards because then you don't realize how high you're being pulled up there. Like when you're riding now over Texas where you're facing forwards, you can see the end of the spike. Yeah. So like you this no adds idea. mystery to it. It does. That ride is very confusing on your uh, your vestibular system. I don't know what that is, but I do aware know. aware of your body placement and uh, where you are and oriented. This one had some lights though, uh, as you're launching backwards, which the uh, one over Texas does not have. And also the station is not as good here. Uh, the other one at yeah, over Texas. it's not dark. I think the thing is it's dark, it has cool ambiance, there's more props than the other one. Yeah. Um, but whatever, at the end of the day, it's about the coaster. Yes. And it's really good. Good stuff. I love it. <laughs> I think it's the best right here. I don't know, I haven't written the box. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a ride that we'll not be doing. I have no interest in waiting in all this. The line is out the entrance. We're getting food at Primo's Pizzeria and they actually have chicken Alfredo pasta you can get. They also have buffalo chicken pizza and outlaw pizza. Those sound really good. So we got the buffalo chicken pizza and the garlic nuts. Actually, really good. Surprisingly, yeah, it's really yeah. good. No, normally Six Flags Pizza kind of has a like bad connotation of being like really plain, but this is actually this is like good. good. And the garlic knots are awesome. Oh my God, they're so good. Remember when we got garlic knots at Great Escape and they were like hard as a rock? I think they took our advice because now they're really squishy. That looks great. This is in the Bugs Bunny National Park section. It is the prettiest national park I have ever been to. I think this is my 27th national park. Wow. Wow. Take, take that, Yosemite. Catwoman Whip is another new attraction that's been added since the last time I was here, and it is not open, so won't be doing that. Here's the line for Screaming Eagle. Out the entrance, but it's not taking up any of the switchbacks. Actually, not a bad wait at all for Screaming Eagle. They have two trains going. We're next up for the front. Let's do this massive wind coaster. Simon says, would you like to up? Simon says, would you like to up? Two rides there on Screaming Eagle, one towards the back and one at the very front. Uh, your first time, what do you think? It's really fun. That's actually a really good wood coaster. It's really big. It's um, huge. Yeah, it's yeah. really big. It's like very like a lot of hills, but very subtle airtime. It's not like a yeah. or anything like that. It's, I didn't expect yeah. it to be. It's old, but it's yeah. really fun. It, it's gradual. I remember we had a conversation after we did um, the Dragon Coaster at Ride Playland. We talked about how we like some wind coasters just because they're old, but then they might not actually do a lot. This one is like weird because it feels like it should be doing more than it actually does. So like, I think it still has a pretty good moment. Like, yeah. I think that second like kind of large drop about halfway through yeah. the ride, which is really good in the back. Yeah. Um, it's smooth and yeah. it's really fun. It is fun. Of the, of the out and back wind coasters though, I would still take like Racer at King's Island over this. Or Really? I think I like this. You think? Yeah. All right. Let us know down below. What do you think? This is a ride we will not be doing. It literally has a full queue. Even if it didn't, I'd probably be Correct. Good. Yeah. Also, fun fact, this boomerang came from Six Flags Over Texas. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. Oh. I wouldn't ride it there either. I sure hope this moves fast because, holy crap, that's a lot of people. I've never waited for this ride. I've always just walked onto it. River King Vine Train, like surprisingly long. There's like three lift hills on that thing. Yeah, the ending's so fun. Yeah, the <laughs> ending's like got the biggest drop on the ride. Yeah, that was really It's in a tunnel. Ride. So, I'd say good stuff. Uh, we definitely waited a decent amount of time for I it. I know, though. which is sad because I'd rewrite that. Yeah. But not with that long of a ride. Also, we're coming up on Ninja. That is not open today. When we were on River King Mine Train, we could look over and see there was no one in the station. It was just completely deserted, which is fine by me. Yo, this is bad. No, not the 61 minutes. <laughs> Wait, why? Why, why Six Flags? Th these wait times are really bad. That's, you know, 
I really wanted to do justice today. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna veto that one. No, I'm not waiting 80 minutes for that. 75 for River King? I feel like that's definitely blown out of proportion. We did not wait that long. I, you know what, had the line for Batman been an hour or less, I would have been more inclined to do it, but I just... The one minute extra. I don't think I can. Yeah, no. American Thunder is the last big open roller coaster that we still need to do. So, let's go ahead and get it done. On today's edition of Bad Designs, Six Flags decided to put a smoking area right next to a line, and on a windy day like today, all of the smoke is just blowing into this entire line. Basically, if you want to ride this, you're stuck with it. You got to deal with it. That There's is... literally someone smoking a huge cigar, and I'm like... Look, if you're going to have smoking areas in park, typically you put them in areas that are less trafficked. That's just kind of how it works. Like one of your best coasters. Yeah, that's, that's not okay. Okay, so there we go. We just did the back row on American Thunder. Got some good pops of airtime there. Yeah, you said you didn't really think it had much airtime, but I thought it had great airtime. There were a couple moments. I don't know. Yeah, and they're great. <sighs> yeah, I, I just think overall it's one of the weaker GCIs, personally. It's better than Renegade. So now that night has fallen, uh, all the monsters are coming out and all the guests are coming in. It has gotten so busy. I checked the wait times app and like American Thunder is listed at a two hour line. Um, Batman is listed at a 90 minute line. Like it is getting really, really bad. So, that means it's time to go. Yeah, we're gonna head out. So we are not doing the mazes here tonight. Um, which I think is, it's okay, they're an upcharge. It's like, oh, it's only like $25, but we're driving all the way to Branson, so. Yeah. That's like a three hour drive. Yeah. Also, some of the mazes at uh, some Six Flags parks can be a hit or miss. So, like, it's not the end of the world. But um, overall, what do you think of your first time here? I liked it. I think it's got potential. How about that? Yeah. Um, There's a lot they could do here. Yeah. Like, I, I think it's cool that they have three wooden coasters, although I don't know if do two of them. Yeah. Which is a bummer because that was the one that I was like, oh, that's the one I'm most excited Literally to do. Literally at the start of the video. Yeah. And that just didn't happen. Actually, we would have known that it was an opening had we looked at the little There's sign. There's literally a sign that says that. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. But uh, I, I was hopeful because it said 60 degrees is what it needed. and It, it was 60. It was 60, so. So dumb. Whatever. Um, I think that there's a lot of things that this park could be doing better. Um, yeah. But overall, I would come back. Yeah, yeah. I just. I, I was in the area. I don't think I'd travel for it again. No, this is one of those parks that's like, okay, you come here to do Silver Dollar City. And then you hit Worlds of Fun, and like, if you got time, you do Six Flags St. Louis. Like, this is definitely the uh, the number three of the parks in Missouri. They just need like one really crazy standout attraction. That's the thing. That's is this this park is missing the standout ride? It's Mr. Freeze, but like, that's in my opinion not a number one coaster. That's that should be like a two or three, like it is well, at over Texas. Yeah, exactly. It's at over Texas too, and like, it's not. You know, they don't try to have that be the number one coaster there. So yeah, I don't know. It, like I said, it's close. They have a really good supporting lineup. They just need that like star. Yeah. So go we'll get there. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course, make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.